everybody and welcome to this video and today we are going to be talking about what are we talking about oh yes we're talking about conversations um i had an amazing conversation on voxer with someone and um some of the stuff that came up i wanted to share because i think it's something good to talk about um we were talking about booktube and how booktube works and all this stuff <laughs> okay let me try that again talking about the consumerism of booktube especially with new books whenever people are talking about new books they are like basically a billboard like saying buy this book and how the funny thing is, a lot of people who are very anti-monetization, like, are hawking new books all the time. And it, it was kind of funny, but then at the same time, it got kind of sad. I'm going to make a lot of assumptions right now, which is going to piss a lot of people off, because I don't know if you guys know this, but I have been accused lately of being a mind reader by people in the comments. So I'm gonna to continue to read minds here um, with my, my best Criswell impersonation. I think, honestly, a lot of people who are on BookTube, how do I say this? I think a lot of people on BookTube might lie about how many audiobooks they read. <laughs> And this wasn't in the conversation I was having on Boxer. This was me thinking about it. Because the amount of books that people read on BookTube mixed with the amount of videos they make mixed with the amount of videos they consume and comment on would say that these people are either listening to audiobooks at like three speed are speed readers or worst case scenario they aren't reading the books they say they're reading just a quick disclaimer here i am by no means talking shit on audiobooks if you listen to a lot of audiobooks that's awesome i listen to a lot of audiobooks. To be fair, I play them at two speed. I don't think I can get up to three speed. But just to be fair, okay, there is nothing wrong with audiobooks. That's not the point of the argument I'm making here. And which is why when you watch my channel, the majority of the stuff I talk about is books that I've read over and over again. Are books that... Um, I, I'm just going over little pieces of books I've read because there isn't enough time in the day on the planet, in the universe, to be able to read and comprehend all of the books that um, I would want to talk about on here. And I used to feel really insecure about that. I'm like, God, I really don't want people like to think I don't read enough and I'm just going and, and at the end of the day I'm like we're, we're talking about books and we're talking about the art and we're talking about writing at least I am and so that's okay like we don't all have to read three books a day in order to have our channels here because we're just talking about fucking books if you've read one book your whole life you could have a booktube channel like your content would be limited, I would assume, but you could do it. That's fine. But anyway, the whole idea of this is that I, I think, and I'm, I was trying to think last night, I'm like, did I coin something or has this been around for a while? It's probably been around for a while and I just can't remember who said it first. But I think this has to do with the Goodreads effect. And some of you might be going, what's the Goodreads effect? And others might be going, yeah, I talked about the Goodreads effect like two years ago, you douchebag. But the Goodreads effect is this thing where you are almost guilted or shamed into reading as many fucking books as you possibly can. So at the beginning of the year, Goodreads is like, hey, make your goal for this year. Make your reading goal. And we're going to tell all your friends who are on Goodreads. 
So then, like, you'll feel guilty if you don't hit that goal because all your friends are going to know that goal. Not that any of your friends are going to remember three minutes later how many books you said you were going to read. Then you go and you read books, and then when you're done reading the book, it sends a message to all your friends. Well, it sends a message when you decided you want to read a book, and then when you start that book, it sends a message to your friends, and then it shows like the progress you're making in the book, sends that out to all your friends. And then um, when you're done with the book, it sends a message out to all your friends. And depending on how much time you have now, you can either just say you finished a book, or you could say, here is my review of said book. But then, at the end of all of this, we realize that as much fun as we have had playing this weird little Goodreads game, we are just tools for Amazon, because Amazon owns Goodreads. Amazon wants to sell books. Here we go. These people are talking about books. We will use the rule of seven. So if people can see the picture of this book seven times, they will be more likely to buy that book. And now that um, someone has read this book and then said, this book was all right. Now maybe some of the people who were shown that book will go buy this book. And the cycle will continue forever. And then by the end of the year, you will have read the books you said you were going to read, hopefully, and then start another thing to do this all over again. And this whole thing is just funny. And it, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. I'm, I'm just calling it what it is, and it's funny. And um, that's fine. If, if all of us don't give a shit that we um, are just being used to sell more books... But we get to use this fun little um, app and website that keeps track of every book we've ever read because we like lists. We like looking at our achievements. And this is the Goodreads fucking effect that instead of reading a book for enjoyment necessarily, we are now reading books for achievement and um, being able to say we read that book. It's, it's just a funny thing to think about. So now that I have completely alienated everyone who's still around, um, let me know down below what you think of this. And um, try not to uh, threaten my life or anything like that. But I would love to hear what you have to say. So until next time, everybody, bye-bye. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.